Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So yesterday I showed you guys um, these envelopes that I made, the clear envelopes using just one snap button. So um, I was asked to uh, do a tutorial on how I created this. So it is a little bit different from the ones that I've made uh, in the past with paper. So of course you will, of course, need to laminate some sequins or whatever you want to put in inside of there uh, to create your um, clear envelope. Um, if you don't want to put anything, you could just laminate a sheet uh, just so it's clear. You could do that too. So the one that I did, um, I used my Martha Stewart uh, scoreboard. Um, I did the one that measures nine by nine, so it makes a five by six paper. So I've already um, laminated and uh, cut my paper down to size. So what you're gonna do is, hold on, let me get the little scoring tool out of there. Um, so for this one, you're gonna go to the one and one quarter, or excuse me, four and one quarter um, mark to score. So do not use this. Um, your sequins can get stuck in there. I had a time trying to get that thing to release yesterday. Um, like right here where it's clear, it probably will punch. But if you have a lot of uh, sequins in there, it does get jammed. And I didn't want to ruin my machine. So um, do not use that. So go ahead and uh, start scoring. Um, and this is three, mil three millimeter lamination paper, which is it scores just like... Um, it scores really well. So you can go ahead and make your score marks. So again, that was uh, four and one quarter. And then just go ahead and turn your paper and line it up. Score it again. And I would press a little bit harder than normal just to make sure that it makes a good score mark. All right, and then line it up again. All right, and then one more time for the last one. Okay, and make sure you go all the way to the end since you didn't use the button at the back. You do need to be able to see where you're gonna cut that little triangle out. So you can see right here, it does do one side of it. So you're just gonna do another, another cut and kind of line it up with this line right here so that you make a good triangle. The other one, of course, just cut it on the line itself, which this is how you would do it if you use the Martha Stewart uh, scoreboard. Um, you used to have to cut them out yourself. So for those of you who have ever used that tool to make envelopes, all right, just line it up with that line. Don't go past the, the score mark though. you're creating those little or taking out those little triangles so yeah just make sure when you're cutting this way you line it up with this line right here and then the other one obviously is already scored all right okay yeah be careful not to go past the square mark side all right and then one more go ahead and line that up All right, so now you have your cuts on all four sides. Um, don't round, and also I was gonna say, don't corner round your your edges. And I'll tell you why in just a second. So now we have our five by six. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start folding those and make sure that you go all the way to the end of the line. You'll need that space because that's how you're gonna connect your envelope. So make sure you are right on the line. Oops, some little goodies are falling out. Right. Just press it pretty firmly and just go ahead and do that all the way around, of course. It's hard to see the score mark, so I'm kind of feeling for it. All right. Keep going all the way around. 
But if you, like I said, if you press pretty firmly, you shouldn't have a problem with, you know, getting it lined up and um, folded. I'm looking for the last one. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, go ahead and fold, and you see how they overlap one another? That's good, we need that. And then let's do the top and the bottom as well. Let me fix this guy. Give me a second. I'm trying to lay this down super flat. Okay. So you see how they're all kind of they're going to intersect in the center there. So and then fold down your top as well. Now what you want to do is you want to find the spot that's going to go through all four layers. So then that's when you're going to take your poker tool that comes with your snap button kit. Now, if you don't have snap buttons and you're going to do it a different way, um, you can. I don't know a different way that will hold it together in this way. But like on my other video, how I showed you, you can you can put some um, like red line tape or something um, if you prefer to hold it this way. But the snap button way, that way you don't have to see the, you know, the glue and it will all stay together. All right. So now that I'm holding it like this, like right through the center is where all of the papers are going to have, you know, crossed over each other. So let me hold this down and I'm going to bring it a little closer. Now you're going to use, go ahead and use your, your poker and you can feel it kind of going through each layer and it, it makes a little noise. I'm sure you guys heard that. Now, what I do after that is I release one at a time just to make sure that I got through every layer. Now I'm going to release that one. And then, okay, so I think I've gotten through all the layers. Now go ahead and slightly press your poker tool through on each of the holes, which you'll see them. You'll be able to see the little holes that you've made. Don't make the, the hole too big. Don't go all the way because you don't want it to move around. Okay, so now we're going to take the bottom portion of the snap button and we're just going to start layering them in there. So you're going to take your snap button and so we're going to go through the first little flap, which is over here, if I can see it. All right, so, uh-oh. These are some slippery little suckers. <laughs> All right, so now it's through that layer. Now take the next layer and layer that on top of it where you have your hole. All right, then take one more, the bottom layer, do the same thing. Layer it through the hole. Press the, make sure you press the lamination paper all the way down. Then you need the little piece that is for the bottom which is the next thing and kind of press that down too with your hand a little bit. Now you're going to take your snap button deal. Now slide that under there. Now this can be a little tricky. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now you're going to go ahead and press. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's line that up. Let me make sure I'm in alignment. Okay, now go ahead and press it together so you have your little, give it a nice firm press. All right, and the last thing you're gonna do is the top. So you can obviously go ahead and snick, stick the other side of the snap button through the top. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that one as well. Press it, and then bada bing, bada boom, you have your clear envelope and it's all safe. Now, if you're planning on putting beads or loose stuff in there, you probably would still want to use some, pay, uh, some, some tape, but if not, and you're going to put larger items in there, literally takes one snap button to 
put that together. So I did, and you guys, again, I did mine with um, the crocheted flowers, but if you, if you don't crochet and, you know, just put something else cute there. So I think I'm gonna adhere this little paper deal right here in the corner. You don't have to use crochet, it looks cute either way. I do put a little hot glue. I like to adhere mine. So. And I'm just gonna put this cute little thing that I have made here and bada bing, bada boom, you have it. And it's just as cute as this. And that's how you do it. So I hope that was nice and clear and you guys can see it. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and give it a try. Let me know how it goes. Thank you so much. Bye.